This is Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network. Dr. Belsita just announced the American Contact Dermatitis Society's Allergen of the Year. Uh, could you tell me first uh, what some of the contenders were? Were there like runners-up in the situation? Um, for this year, actually, there were not. This year's allergen was a runner-up from several years, and we finally decided to nominate it. Okay. And uh, I wish I could do a drum roll. What the allergen of the year is? The allergen of the year is neomycin. Okay. Uh, can you tell me why that one was chosen this particular year? Yes, because it's a very common allergen. And uh, it raises a number of issues when an individual patch test is positive to neomycin. And so that it, it was something that I, we thought that the general public, dermatology in particular, needed to be aware of. Okay, and it's very common because it's an over-the-counter product? It's very common because it's an over-the-counter product, so people will use it to self-medicate active areas of dermatitis. And the process, if they are allergic, it gets worse. Uh, then they'll present to a dermatologist and they may or may not say that they're using it simply because it is purchased over the counter. Right, so it's a matter of the patients coming forth and it's also a matter of the dermatologist having a high index of suspicion. Correct. Okay. Now one of the things you said was interesting in your talk, you just announced it says there's a, sometimes a delayed presentation. It takes seven days or more for a patch test to come out positive. Right. So what are the clinical implications for a dermatologist? Well, the clinical implications are most dermatologists who do patch tests are doing their readings at 48 hours and 96 hours. And if you suspect neomycin as, as a cause of your dermatitis, you may not see it even at 96 hours. So it's very important to tell the patient when they leave your office to keep uh, track of the sites and if they see any other reactions coming up to contact your office. Tip-off always can be when a patient comes and they've been having a dermatitis that's suddenly getting worse, you need to think and ask them, what have you been putting on it? And go through everything, not just the prescriptions. For Global Medical News Network, this is Damian McNamara.